بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay, so the next thing we'll try to get into some uh, content overview, like detailed content overview. So you can use this uh, URL, generally the learning cisco.com. So I already opened up that URL here, uh, which, co which covers more details. Or even if you just search for Cisco Encore, basically CCNP Enterprise, Enterprise Core Paper, and then the exact core paper. Generally, you'll find those. Uh, paper if you just click on this url it will give the list of this paper the associate certifications again the duration of that examination and again the same thing what i just explained you can find these details here and if you are if you just click on this exam topics you will you will be able to see the same url over there okay now here you'll find some uh, more detailed uh, contents like you have this cc uh, the encore paper is actually a 120 minute exam uh, same like a written exam normally you can register with any of your authorized space in your center okay and this exam tests the six six options as i said the architecture so this is like the dual architecture where you will be understanding the architecture options and then the virtualization options infrastructure related options and then network assurance security and then automation okay so probably in the Cisco guide, generally you will have uh, like a mix and match of the topics here. Like you have some of the services covered in the in the uh, infrastructure and some of the services also covered covered in, in here as well. Okay. So basically this is like an overview of the topics, but I have just uh, separated the list here. And the list will be seeing generally like the packet forwarding mechanisms. Uh, in the packet forwarding, what we'll see is we generally try to understand how the forwarding generally happens between the network devices. Like generally in the layer two, we generally use a MAC address, the switches identify the MAC and then maintain some kind of CAM table to, to forward the information. And then the layer three routing, how it works, the actual forwarding, how, how it happens. Uh, generally in the routers, especially when the traffic is going over the WAN, by checking the routing tables. So you need to understand the basic communication process of the networking devices. And also we'll see something like some of the architecture, uh, forwarding architectures, like there are different forwarding mechanisms used by the routers, like there is a fast switching, process switching, and then we have a Ceph. Uh, probably we'll, we'll talk about those concepts here. And probably uh, this is like a forwarding option, the basic understanding of the actual forwarding, how it is going to work. And then we'll be seeing some basic uh, switching concepts. Like this is more like your switch NP switch, old paper, where we'll be seeing the VLANs, trunking concepts, and you know the other options like ether channels, dynamic trunking protocol, dynamic trunking or VLAN trunking, VTB protocol. So these are the options relating to VLANs. And also we'll see some options relating to spanning tree. Like we'll see the basic spanning tree options and then optimizing your spanning tree or speeding up the process of the spanning tree with the help of STP and then tuning your STP options, how we can tune the STP, like changing the cost or changing the root bridges, those options. And also some of the protection mechanisms, additional protection mechanisms, including there is something called MSTP, uh, multiple spanning tree. So basically you may not be aware of all the topics here, but you don't need to worry. So this is more like the switching topics, what we are going to see uh, more into understanding what, how the things works in your LAN infrastructure. Okay. So this is more like a topic wise sections, and then we'll be moving on with the routing topics. Now, again, the routing protocols overview, we'll see, and then the path selection process, uh, the static routing, and then the concept of VRF, virtual route forwarding, we'll talk about that. And then we'll get into some routing protocols, EHRP and OSPF. So mostly the dynamic routing protocols, which are commonly used like OSPF. You may have seen these same concepts mostly in the CCNS, so we'll be getting in more deeper uh, here. And again, you will get more, more and more deeper probably about these routing concepts in the advanced routing paper. So you have a separate paper again, where you get into more in depth of the routing and switching concepts over there. 
but to to some extent we'll be getting more deeper here as well especially these are the like foundation topics for your networks the routing and the switching concepts like advanced ospf and then ospf v3 ospf v3 is for ipv6 again and then we'll also get into some bgp concepts bgp used for internet and the basic bgp configurations and also some of the advanced pgp implementations including you know there are some options like uh, filtering options or bgp uh, bgp multi homing options and the bgp pass selection options okay so so you may not get into the configurations of all those things it depends like if you generally see the sections here so there are some options where you will be getting more into theoretical stuff like you are comparing the routing protocols and there are some options where you will go and configure and verify so depending upon the requirement we'll see these options here okay so where if you if you generally see like describe then most likely will be going through with an overview of those topics okay so we don't get into most of the configuration options over there okay so you can see there are some options like uh, describing the options like you need to understand the different components of network design like understanding this concept means we don't get into the configurations here but we need to have an idea like what is trusseg what is maxseg or what is or what is the concept of next generation firewall something like that and then the multicasting concepts we'll also see about multicasting uh, and then some of the ip services ip services like first stop redundancy protocol like hsrp prrp and glbp options and then network address translation options quality of service quality of service we'll see here the what is the need for quality of service and the different models classification policing marking uh, shaping these options and then uh, we have some options like uh, overlay tunnels now this is more about the tunneling concepts like the some overview of the vpns uh, section wise here we call it as overlay tunnels where we'll configure and verify some of the gre tunnels and also some basics of ipsec tunnels will cover here and also there are some other options like we have something called lisp cisco locator id separation protocol probably will will go through with an overview of this like understanding the architecture protocols and the operation of this lisp protocol lisp option and then also we'll we'll just we'll go through with an overview of the vxlan vxlan is actually kind of data plane protocol which is uh, which is going to extend your layer 2 or the layer 3 network commonly in the case of server virtualization with, with kind of multiple vlans so probably we'll uh, see an overview of that okay so this this part is more into virtualization again so i'm not separating you know uh, in the exams uh, you generally see you know if you go with the cisco side probably you will you have a mix of all the topics but i have just separated according to the uh, modules like the heading with the separate topics here so mostly according to your you know cisco uh, cisco books normally and then we have some couple of sections on the wireless where we'll see some of the basic theory of the wireless signals the rf signals how they measure how you compare how, how we compare the power of your rf signals so we'll be covering that here and also we'll try to understand some of the methods involved in carrying your wireless signals like carrying your data over the radio frequency signals what are the different methods we use over there and then we have we will be understanding some wireless infrastructure options uh, like the different types of topologies and how you are going to pair your access point with a wlc wireless lan controllers and then understanding the wireless coverage with the antennas and then the roaming options if you are moving from one wireless network to another network generally how the things behave and also the authenticating authenticating relating to security like how we are going to secure your wireless networks with a different authentication options generally and then of course there will be of troubleshooting the wireless connectivity so mostly this part is more into wireless again as i said you get more deeper into the wireless technologies uh, generally when you have a separate two papers uh, designated for wireless in your ccnp in your ccnp um, 
enterprise track. So probably you'll be getting in more deeper into those wireless tracks in your CCNP or concentration exams with the wireless papers over there. The next thing again, uh, the next thing will also get into some kind of uh, enterprise network infrastructure, like understanding the line land designing model and the different architecture options. Once we get an overview of that, and then also we'll try to understand some kind of um, uh, fabric technologies like the SDA, SDS, we call it as software defined access and SD WAN. So we'll be getting overview of those things. As I said, again, we'll be getting into more deeper on the SD WAN. We have a separate paper dedicated on SD WAN again. Okay. So network assurance, uh, network assurance options relating to the some of the, as I said, uh, network assurance will be trying to understand some of the diagnostic tools like ping, trace, and some of the debugging tools, uh, NetFlow, NetFlow options, SPAN, RSPAN options, SLA, uh, overview of the DNA center again, all these options were, comes under network assurance section. And then we have some security topics. We'll be seeing some kind of security concepts like understanding the design and then you know next generation end up endpoint security like what are the options we have for endpoint security NAC ACLs you know again you can see the list over there so it's not uh, possible for me to explain this each and every line here but normally as we progress we'll be seeing these options and then also some virtualization concepts now virtualization again as I said you will see those uh, virtualization options here uh, with respect to network and the uh, server virtualization, uh, 